Hey y'all, y'all have tapped in with Black Goddess Intuitive Healer, and I'm here to bring you all messages for the Karmic Masculine. So yes, this is a Karmic Masculine read. I was led to do this reading. This is the Masculine that are, some of these Karmic Masculines are being deemed a soulmate because y'all are being tested, okay? So a lot of y'all being tested for... Cross watchers, divine feminines are being tested with these false twins. That's what they are. They're false twins. They're people that y'all have had several past lives with. Somebody that has been like betraying you and not learning lessons and stuff like that. So that's what that's who this reading is for. This is for the toxic karmic masculine. I know y'all are y'all have been I've been getting intuitively that y'all need that kind of reading, okay? I have been doing Divine Masculine's reading as well, but sometimes that Karmic Masculine be sliding through Divine Masculine's reading. So I'm going to just do a Karmic Masculine reading. This is what I was led to do. And let's just see what's going on with the Karmic Masculine. Benevolent ancestors, come in at this time. Protect our energy and our aura. Archangel Michael, protect me from anything, any entities or energies. Um, and just protect us while we do this karmic masculine reading. Oh, God. I didn't cut the deck and say somebody hiding a sexually transmitted infection. So, somebody is definitely hiding a sexually transmitted disease here. Okay, collective that could be anything take it as it resonates this is this is these are messages for the karmic masculine messages for the karmic masculine show us what we need to see here messages for karmic masculine show my collective what we need to see these are masculines y'all not supposed to take back okay these are masculines y'all was supposed to learn lessons from and that's it Okay, so, dang, she, 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 okay, collective, this karmic masculine, damn, all this came out, <laughs> wow, okay, so y'all already know that this karmic masculine is hiding a STD, okay? This person is trying to really go to the grave with this STD, okay? Intuitively, some of y'all already know about this STD. Some of y'all think this person is y'all DM, y'all divine masculine. This person is not y'all divine masculine because y'all had a higher level soulmate uh, type of situation. That does not mean that. Even with twin flames, sometimes they turn out to be karmic as well a dud that's what the most high call it a dud <laughs> a dud but um yeah these are the masculines that aren't ascending these are the masculines that are stuck in ego that's stuck in like 3d that are initially supposed to supposed to have ascended some of them chose their free will and just stayed in their 3d vibrations that's the type of masculine reading this is karmic toxic this is not your divine masculine, okay, y'all? Uh, anyway, so this karmic masculine, these are the ones that play like they spiritual and, and they don't be. That lie a lot, narcissism, a lot of narcissism and manipulation. So that's who this reading is for. We be looking in and seeing what's going on with the karmic masculine because a lot of y'all got karmic soulmates. And these are not the ones y'all waiting on. Some of y'all waiting on some damn karmics. Y'all not waiting on a DM, okay? Those are tests, collective. Pass y'all tests. Y'all know y'all toxic exes, y'all toxic lovers. Y'all know initially. Y'all know who they are. And if you don't, you gonna know tonight. But anyway, <clears throat> karmic masculine read. So for a lot of these karmic masculines are paying up some tough karma here. I feel like. This karmic could have some feelings here, some emotional feelings for y'all, collective. This person is saying they're still in love with you. We got a karmic sister involved here. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Your karmic sister could have been involved with this karmic masculine. We have a karmic cousin here, collective. 
that could have been involved with this karmic masculine, the ones that y'all think or y'all might feel like y'all got a higher level soulmate connection with. No, nah, that's a damn soul tie. That's all that is. Somebody you were supposed to learn lessons with from past lives. That's all that is. Okay, I don't want y'all to get confused like y'all supposed to. Some of y'all think y'all supposed to take this person back. Nah, baby. You supposed to choose self-love and come in a union with your damn self. Okay. And you allow the most high to decide on whether this person is going to be a match for this soulmate and or spiritual connection. Okay. I feel like this is somebody you stop giving your energy to. We got to stop telling her your business in reverse. So I feel like this was somebody y'all stopped giving y'all energy to. I also feel like some of you, for this is for some of y'all. But it's in the reverse. I'm trying to figure out. It says somebody being inappropriate with the underage. But it's in the reverse. So it could be somebody could have an underage situation here. They trying to sweep under the rug too for some of y'all. Okay, let me see. Let me clarify this. Um, Spirit, clarify somebody being inappropriate with the underage for me. Because it's in the reverse. Okay, so somebody heartbroken. Somebody is heartbroken. I feel like they made a mistake here with somebody that was underage. And then we got pray for me in the reverse. What is pray for me in the reverse? Damn. This is fucked up. I be, you know, I be praying for the karmic masculine. Karmic masculine, if you're watching... We pray for y'all too. Because y'all still have a purpose here in life as well. And some of y'all don't under don't understand that y'all had chances. Y'all had chances to clean this karma up down here. And this is the, the path y'all are choosing to take to not clean this shit up. We pray for y'all too, that's for sure. So I don't even know why pray for me is in the reverse. But they saying don't pray for you. Don't pray for you. Because you karmic masculine been trying to ruin people. Ruin people out around here ruining people's lives. It says somebody wants to ruin you. So collective. This energy could have been trying to ruin you. Could currently still be trying to ruin you. I'm hearing this person is reckless and ruthless, okay? And that's the truth. Nothing but the real thing. Truth. That's the truth. Thank you. Come through, spirit. Show me what I need to see for the karmic masculine. Show me what I need to see for the karmic masculine. Okay, so... We got a water sign here. So it could be a water sign, very significant. Somebody, a male water sign collective, a Scorpio, Cancer, and or Pisces. This is a male water sign. Let me show y'all the card. So y'all, if y'all got a male water sign in y'all life, this could be a family member. This is a karmic masculine. This person could want to ruin you collective. It says God has spoken to you. I feel like um, this person has been getting spiritual nudges from spirit warning them to stop doing whatever it is that they doing in the background to ruin you collective motherfucker yep so they already got the warning here it says god has spoken to you so the um the most high has already been warning this karmic masculine to stop and they paying some tough ass karma here that's for damn show okay so this person was trying to manip manipulate some shit here this person was trying to, was doing, this person, I'm hearing black magic. This person was doing black magic to, man, some of y'all got a YouTube channel. This person could have been doing magic to slow down your YouTube channel and slow down a new lover here. I did see that. I'm hearing it too. Like, this was, a, somebody was trying to sabotage you. And yes, this person, somebody is in regret here. Okay, and they're, um... They can't they they can't manipulate you no more. That shit they was trying to manipulate some shit here. That shit in reverse.
spirit. Okay, so I feel like spirit blocking this person. This person could want to move in on y'all, like come in fast with some type of communication here. It says, I don't care how many memories y'all got. They really don't like you. It's in the reverse. So I feel like this karmic masculine could have some love for y'all. Like just because I feel like I get a lot of guilt. I get a lot of guilt energy. This person could definitely be feeling guilty. I feel like the only reason why this person is feeling guilty because they got caught in their shit. That's what I'm going to say. Thank you, spirit. Somebody got caught up. And the only reason why this person is feeling like this is because they got caught. It has nothing to do with whether they got a heart or they, you know, really want to heal themselves and they want to make it right. That don't got nothing to do with whether that's this or that. It's not that. It's because they asses got caught. And they, I feel like this person, this is some unforgivable shit. But I do feel like some of y'all may not be so open to forgiveness with this person because a lot of shit that they caused y'all. It says, no, they are infected and trying to infect you. So this karmic masculine is infected. That came out twice for this read. It says, they, they, whoever this is, they know they infected. And they running around here still having sex with people. Be careful, collective. I know y'all be loving y'all old Toxiana ass lover. Okay, but your lover love the Toxianas out here in the streets. The ones that's not taking care of their yonis. And people that's not telling people that they got a fucking STD and they be having an STD. And that's bold. That's like, they need to start cracking down on that shit. Because a lot of people just out here, y'all just, just having sex with people and not telling people y'all got some shit y'all can't get rid of. That's mess, That's really messed up. And that's why y'all going through karma. It says, no, that I'm going to read it again. Know that they are infected and trying to infect you. Let me just say something real quick, collective. Some of y'all still having a hard time coming out of toxicity. I'm not saying all of y'all, not the majority. It's just a few of y'all are still working on toxic behaviors. And y'all might want to backtrack to y'all toxic lover. Because, yeah, when it was, the getting was good. Yeah, being with somebody that was kind of toxic was kind of like the thing. But shit ain't working out with that shit no more. People getting their hearts broke, people dealing in trauma, people are dying behind toxic lovers, okay? So that's not that's not a fad or that's not cute. All that toxic shit, that's not cute. It's not. And that's just who this 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 masculine is. You thought you knew who this person was. This person was wearing a mask. It says, when I see you in the reverse, I feel like that's that somebody is hiding themselves as well. So somebody could be in hiding right now in collective. So you you could you could have seen this you could have been seeing this person for a hot second. Now you just don't see him like this person. You could it's like you ain't seen them in a long time. I feel like they know you highly intuitive. This karmic masculine knows that you're highly intuitive. Know that you gifted this shit. They, this masculine does not want you to know what's going on with them. This masculine does love you, whether they karmic, fake, false. This masculine definitely loves you a lot. And they are definitely in regret. Thank you, spirit. It says, the hard part is over. You finally let they ass go. So collective, y'all let this karmic masculine go. Overall, I'm look, I'm seeing here, y'all let this person go. And then the hardest part, the hardest part was letting this person go because y'all loved them as well. Y'all had a deep soul connection with this karmic masculine. That's what that's why they feel like how they feel, y'all. Because the toxicity. Toxicity is addicting. Okay, sometimes toxicity do feel good. Let's just be honest. Some things that aren't good for us normally feels good. Don't you hate that it happens like that? You know? Um, I feel like you initially, a lot of y'all initially had to walk away from this particular masculine because they chose wrong or something. So, I feel like the universe deemed this group of karmic masculines karmic because they chose to go down a, another karmic cycle. So, 
these were potential divine masculines for just the group of y'all. These were potential divine masculines, but instead of them coming to learn the lessons with you and close out a cycle with you, they stayed in a karmic cycle here. That's why they're being called and considered karmic masculines or karmic twins, the false twins. All right. For karmic masculine spirit, show us what we need to see. I feel like this reading is so important because a lot of y'all are confused. Somebody's sitting on a decision here. I feel like somebody is sitting on a decision or somebody had a decision to make and they chose this individual here. I feel like this person, this karmic masculine could have felt... Um, some type of trauma bond with this karmic best friend. This could be this karmic masculine's karmic best friend. This could be your karmic best friend collective. Take it as it resonates. This person made a decision to choose this person. Yeah. Show us what we need to see, spirit. More about this karmic masculine that we channeling for. Because that's exactly... They said for y'all to use y'all intuition and discernment. Something could be very significant about um, this time coming into the winter. So, for karmic masculine, show us what we need to see. Okay, so we got a female cousin here. So, some for some of y'all, they chose a female cousin over you. Or they could be, this karmic masculine could be dealing with several lovers here. They could be dealing with several lovers. I'm definitely seeing that. Show me what I need to see, Spirit, for Karmic Masculine. Take these messages as they resonate, y'all, and lead the rest. And, and listen in so y'all can see. Y'all can be able to decipher on whether this is who y'all waiting on or, you know, some y'all know. Y'all know what, uh... What y'all are supposed to be doing and what y'all ain't supposed to be doing. And that's for sure, collective. Mm, excuse me. Somebody could be crying. Somebody could be doing some crying here. I'm hearing laugh now, cry later. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Yeah. Toxic lover. Because it was somebody that was in this toxic ass energy. Somebody was in this toxic energy. Somebody could have also, um, somebody also could have been involved in some type of scandal, some type of financial fraud. Somebody is definitely crying, or has been crying, or it could be y'all collective. Y'all could be in y'all emotions too. Could be about this toxic ass person, but. Yep, it says financial fraud. So somebody was definitely um, engaging into some um, type of financial fraud. Okay, take it as it resonates. This could be identity theft. Show me what I need to see, karmic masculine. I feel like somebody could have did financial fraud on a wealthy man here. So a karmic masculine could have been doing financial fraud on like <coughs> this. They just showing us little stuff that this masculine has done. So y'all could know about something that uh, y'all baby daddy or y'all person or take it as it resonates that have been out here doing uh, scams, running scams on the wealthy people. Okay, karmic masculine. <laughs> Show me what I need to see, spirit, for karmic masculine. Show my collective what they need to see. Because they know who they toxic lover is. That's for damn show. Thank you. It says nothing but the real thing. Nothing but the real thing. Everything. They, they, it's, this is like a confirmation card. Clarity. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. And this uh, karmic masculine could be sitting back looking stupid. It says, God been told me who you were to me. And yet they kept throwing that, they kept throwing that, um, throwing those bad intentions here on y'all collective. So now they sitting back looking stupid because they could, they didn't succeed. They were not successful. Okay. And it's crazy because now all of a sudden this karmic for some of y'all, 
this masculine loves y'all. But I'm trying to figure out, like, why the hell was you doing all this then? Masculine, karmic masculine, whoever. Why was you doing all this? And now you sitting back looking stupid. We got a new person here. So, collective. Y'all got a new person that's coming in here. That could be a karmic masculine. <laughs> okay? So, y'all use y'all discernment and spiritual gifts. Because that's exactly what spirit is showing me. So, yeah. Okay, I'm also getting something else. <laughs> okay, so this person could be watching you. This karmic masculine could be watching you transform into a new person and you fine, fine. Take it as it resonates. So it could be happening like that. I feel like this person does realize you are a chosen one, that you are a divine being, and that they can't they can't they can't mess with you on that level, especially not with no black magic. Y'all some healers here. Healing is essential. And y'all have done the healing work. This person needs to, to heal. Ain't no um ain't no new beginnings um collective with this energy. Ain't no new beginnings. This is the person you learn lessons from. I don't care how strong the love is. When the when the universe deemed them karmic, it's done. Okay? So y'all got a karmic masculine here that don't want y'all to go nowhere. I feel like this person know y'all done had a past life here together with this uh, Tina Marie here. Y'all done been in a past life together before. This person could be getting currently getting deja vu. But the only reason why I feel like that, and the only, not I, but the only reason why this person feeling deja vu is because y'all did have past lives. Where that, your, where this person didn't learn no damn lessons. And here it is. Y'all having to close out karma in this lifetime. It says you're not going nowhere with nobody. This person does not want y'all to go nowhere collective. But y'all got to go. Y'all done learned y'all lessons. It's time to go. For this, yeah, karmic lesson. Closing out karma. That's what a karmic soulmate is. And we reading on a karmic masculine. So, show me. Okay. I feel like this karmic knows, this karmic masculine knows that you're the empress. It says you are truly an empress. So this is feminine energy I'm channeling for. It says you've done well. So y'all over here celebrating. Y'all done closed out cycles. Y'all done, y'all done embodied this empress energy collective for something for majority of y'all. Y'all contributing to world change here with y'all spiritual gifts. And, and y'all got new love watching y'all. Y'all got new love watching y'all. And I feel like this karmic masculine could also want a new contract. I feel like this person is going to come in and try to show that they've changed and that they're getting on a journey. So this person could have to travel in secret here. I'm, I'm getting an attachment. We got a, It says a family member. It says your family member was involved. So collective. This could be the cousin and or... Somebody was traveling in secret with a family member. So this karmic masculine was traveling in secret with a family member here to do what? To do what, spirit? And then give us a zodiac sign too. Please and thank you. <laughs> you be more loving, mean ass. I'm taking that as y'all being forgiving. Because <laughs> y'all been being mean as shit to this karmic masculine. Okay. Yep. Here we go. I feel like this person... 
you've been being me. Some of y'all been being mean to this karmic masculine because y'all know this person not y'all real twin flame. This is my twin flame card. Y'all know they not y'all real twin flame. And this person married. Somebody married. It says, be patient. Everything happens when it's supposed to. Go find something to do. So, y'all sitting here being patient. I feel like it's some more clarity that's about to come out about this person. Okay, we got fronting and hiding real feelings. So, somebody is definitely, this karmic masculine is definitely in their feelings, okay? they they You know how, but you don't know what you got till it's gone. I'm hearing that. But you don't know what you got till it's gone. I'm hearing this masculine, which they could have straightened up for you, collective. And I'm hearing, I guess I'll see you next lifetime. <laughs> yeah, excuse my little crack, crackish ass voice. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Maybe we'll be butterflies. All right, y'all. Give us more energy. Karmic masculine spirit. Okay, so this person was refusing to see things differently. Okay. This person was refusing to see things differently. We got a female water sign. It's in the reverse. I feel like your karmic masculine could have engaged. This is that family member uh, collective. This that family member. This person could have been a female water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, but I don't feel like this person is dealing with this energy. I feel like it was a one-night stand. This person could have been having multiple one-night stands with several other individuals, but your family member, whoever this female water sign is, they no longer dealing with that person, but I feel like it was something here involved. So, you just letting us have it tonight, ain't you, spirit? <laughs> for karmic masculine this person could be trying to astral project to you it says remove this person so <clears throat> collective y'all had to remove this energy here i feel like it was a lot of shit that y'all was finding out about even intuitively y'all was getting uh guidance from y'all spirit team like no and y'all initially broke free from this karmic masculine y'all learned y'all lessons y'all learned several lessons from this uh karmic masculine okay and that's the truth i feel like y'all could have been madly in love with this person okay and that's the damn truth it says the truth is right in front of you y'all had to break free y'all got the truth y'all got the clarity y'all knew exactly why y'all had to remove yourself from a situation here show me what i need to see karmic masculine read and the fallen angels that ain't ascending because that's exactly what y'all is. Y'all fallen angels. That's not trying to awaken. That's want to be, want to dwindle and dwell in Babylon. And a lot of y'all supposed to be damn divine masculines. Y'all supposed to ascend to this. Y'all supposed to grow. It's supposed to be a change here. But some of y'all could be stuck in addictions here, karmic masculine. Major addiction. So collective. This karmic masculine is dealing in addictions, sexual addictions, okay? I'm definitely getting, they said sexual addictions. This person is a hot trot. That's just period. But this person loves you, though. They do love you. They want to, they wish that they could fix themselves. Somebody is so stuck on stubborn and don't want to change. It's really sad. Because some of these karmic masculines got gifts. Some of them are, some of them are <laughs> some of them are being granted chances to clean their shit up but they gotta make a decision and they gotta make one fast i'm talking to y'all karmic masculines for y'all that watch that know y'all toxic and karmic as hell this reading is for you okay it's something very significant about the fall of 2021 and somebody could have, this karmic masculine could have been being envious because of some money here, collective. But that money is highly protected, okay? And this particular masculine be getting his ass toe up. So he know, he, he can't fuck with y'all like that. Can't fuck with y'all like that. Excuse my French. Damn, excuse my, I've just been cussing late at night. All right, spirit, show us what we need to see. We're going to close this out karmic masculine 
show us what we need to see. Current energy. For karmic masculine, show us what we need to see. Okay, so it looked like this person is kind of weak, y'all. This person is weak. It says you got to be stronger than that. Go ahead and cry. So like I said, this karmic masculine been crying. Because I feel like at some point, this person could have deemed been like a divine masculine. But I just, I don't understand what happened. Like, I just don't understand what's happening here because... This person, this is somebody that know they have a life purpose here. I feel like this person could be trying to work on themselves collective. It's some of, some of these masculines that they was demon karmic, they're getting second chances. I don't know how that's happening, but y'all got free will too. Okay, so some of these uh, karmic masculines got their second chance. They cleaning their lives up, okay? So they are going to come back to y'all in emperor energy, okay? They're not going to come back in karmic energy, but... Some of y'all masculines ain't healing, y'all. They're going to stay in this karmic energy, all right? So it, it's a karmic masculine that has been crying over you, collective. It says, you are the best I ever had. I really messed up. So like I said, this karmic masculine loves the shit out of y'all. But I feel like it could be a toxic love, too. I feel like y'all could love this karmic masculine as well, but y'all learned too many lessons. Y'all got y'all heart broke with this person too much because they was uh they could have had a lot of insecurities about themselves. It could have been a lot of things that they didn't like about themselves, and they could have been projecting that energy on y'all collective, and that's why I feel like a lot of y'all could be in separation and or don't want to deal with this person no more. And I feel like this person, this karmic masculine, could also be scared of y'all's uh, spiritual gifts, too. This person needs y'all energy, but scared to be around y'all. Hell, I'm scared for you to be around me, too. That's what y'all should be <laughs> thinking. You in demon energy. You got a, a demonic attachment. You done sold your soul to the devil. I'm scared to be around you. <laughs> Hell, I might just have to use the ultimate weapon on you. <laughs> and I'm just playing. But for real. Somebody keeps lying. So this karmic masculine is not living in it. In, a lot of these karmic masculines don't know how to live in their truth about their trauma. About shit that they've dealt with in their childhood. And or could have currently dealt with in their lives or with different people because of these insecurities. It says, speak up about your trauma. Hold